on the last video we created this uh, test bench for the neuron now let us try to simulate this test bench file so let us launch our model sim yeah. and then let us compile our file so it is neuron and neuron test bench compile and then we can uh, simulate the test bench okay we see we have some warnings so let us fix this warning on the test bench so it says the registers they don't have same bit length okay and the neuron core so let us go back to our test bench first of all uh, it said the registers okay the register we see okay we see that here we didn't change our so it should be model 3 and here it should be model 4 and then it's complaining about the neuron core mismatch the output of the neuron here so why should be three bits two bits not this one here should be here because this is why it is three bits and it should be three bits so let us save this and then let us look at our test bench file we can see that we are simulating 1500 nanosecond but we only have five different inputs and then it is period of four nanosecond and then two clocks so let's say roughly 80 nanosecond it will do the job let's save it and then let's go to the, our model sim again uh, uh, update recompile and then uh, recompile update recompile here too and then let us restart simulation now we don't have we don't see no errors so let us make it to simulate in nanosecond and run all no Okay, we forgot to add the signal to the wave. Let us add it first. Toggle leaf name, restart, and run all. No. Okay. Here, so we have it here. We can see we don't have no fail, so it's as expected. For example here, if we see it's the first random inputs are zero, so it's zero here, zero. And then the second input, it is six times two, it is 12 plus, plus zero, divided by eight, it is one point something. So, and then we can see here after two clock, so first clock, second clock, we generate number, so it's six, and this is two and this is zeros so you can see when we have an output y we have a zero it comes from zero and then the next input that we have after the first clock the second clock we have four and seven and then we can see here four and seven so it, it is four times three it is twelve plus seven so if we divide it by two it's gonna be two and then you can see that we have it here too so re the result happened in the next clock and then this is the register so you can see each time we print the result on y it counts from zero it counts one two three and then here the result is four and this is 
five. So this does exactly how we design. It counts when we have the result on Y because we have only these five inputs and it counts from zero to five each, each two clocks. So each time the result will only be represented, the two clock will have a result. So, and then we can see this is our ring counter and this is our up counter and this is the output of the registers. And then one thing I need to measure, we have the, the start that we initialize our registers here when we have start and when it's zero, we initialize it to zero and then we turn it off. That's how we did it on the test bench. And then we can take those value to the registers. In the next video, we'll try to implement this on the board.